Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a DXF file from your CreoCAD model to be ready to use on a laser cutter. Okay, what I have opened is profile A of my table tennis bat. I also have profile B. Okay, they are different profiles. I'm going to go back to profile A, okay, which has the larger square down by the bottom of the handle. Now I need this as a DXF file for the laser cutter. So here are the steps to turn this into a DXF file. First of all, with the profile open, you must go up to File and go to New. At this point, we are going to select Drawing and we are going to call this Profile um, A DXF. Profile A DXF. Okay, and then I'm going to tick OK. Now at this point, the new drawing um, information will come up. I want you to select C drawing at, from the template and use template. This really doesn't matter too much because we're going to delete this later. I'm going to press OK and it will turn that model into a drawing. Now it all looks a bit small because our scale is very small here. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is come across to the one on the right, projection view, click on that and let, left click on that and delete that with the X or press the delete key on your keyboard. Come up to this view, projection view at the top, click on that and then left click, delete that. This time I want you to double click this general view and a window will come up. I want you to scroll down and choose top and then press OK. OK, let's put it in top view. I'm going to scroll in. It has things on here that I do not want. This um, information about part we can turn off by going to this part of the menu, the datum display filters. I'm going to left click on that and I'm going to uncheck select all and it will delete that or take that away okay I'm going to double click it again and I'm going to go to view displays and can you make sure that you have hidden selected and under tangent edges choose none then tick OK now finally it's very small and this is the sheet size. Now the sheet size is going to be part of the DXF file and we will delete that later. I'm now going to come across to here. Please pay attention to where, the scroll, uh, where my cursor is. This is the scale. And if you double click that, the scale value comes up in our window. We want this to be one to one. So I'm just going to put in one and tick OK. And then I'm going to scroll out and you will see that the table tennis bat is much bigger and it has the sheet size within it. Now we will delete that later. So now we are going to export out of Creo as a DXF file. Now in order to do that, you need to come up to file, go down to save as and then come down to export click on export and this information appears at the top we are going to select DXF then we're going to go into the settings and here we must make sure that the DXF version is as high as possible so I'm going to go up to 12 here make sure that points is chosen as shapes as shapes um, you can leave that as text and then everything else we tick OK. Then we must export it. So we go back up here and choose export. And hopefully that will go to your working directory. And it's going to go into my table tennis bat tutorials. It's going to be called profile ADXF 
the type of file is DXF. So all I need to do is press OK and then close export setup. And then I can close this drawing too. And I'm back to my model. And I've created a DXF file in my portfolio. Now you need to do that with both components. I'm now going to come across to 2D Design. Um, and I'm going to show you how um, we will get that into... Um, or re remove the drawing sheet. So now I'm in 2D Design. I'm going to go and I'm going to do File, Import File. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go to my Creo uh, folder, Table Tennis Bat, Table Tennis Tutorials. Here is the DXF I've just created. You can see it still has the uh, sheet size inside the bat. This is a DXF file. I'm going to bring that into. I'm going to bring that into 2D Design. I'm going to make sure it comes in as millimeters. There we go. Perfect. So, this is a DXF file that now can be sent to the laser cutter. But this is a problem because it has a uh, the sheet within it. Uh, which would come out as a whole. So I'm now going to go to Edit, Ungroup, and then I can select around that. I'm going to press the Delete key, and then I'm going to reselect everything, Edit, Group, and then here I can export as a DXF file down, choose DXF, okay, and I'm going to call that, I'm going to make sure I'm in the correct folder, Creo 8, Table Tennis Bat, Table Tennis Bat Tutorials, and I'm going to call that Final, Final Profile A. DXF. Final profile A DXF. You will need to put your name in your file so we know which whose DXF we are cutting. Press OK. And now I have created the DXF final DXF file. You need to do that with both components of your table tennis bag. Profile A and profile B. You can also save this 2D design file. This will be very useful. So we're going to save and we're going to save that as um, final profiles. Final that profile. I'm going to save that in there too. Okay, right. And you just repeat the same again by importing your next profile. 